Episode here on the Voidcraft server. Uh, as you guys can probably tell, we're down in our zombie spawner. Uh, it does need a little bit of tweaking though. The zombies don't exactly take a one hit and die, um, which is kind of unfortunate. So you got to take a couple swings and you also have to stand up here to get the XP. Uh, but other than that, it works pretty well. You know, it gets the XP. As you can see, I'm 33. Uh, plus, I also used some levels to finish off some other mendings, books, and stuff like that we had around. And uh, you also might be able to tell that everything looks a little bit different from probably last time you guys saw and that is because I am using a new shader so uh, this one here is called BSL shader um, 1.15 um, I really like it it's it's pretty nice I think I still need to tweak it a little bit because um, enchants are like enchants on your weapons look good but if you put it on like your armor oh did it fix it no see it looks all weird so I think I still have to look at in getting that fixed, but um, we could do that at a later date. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, and the only other thing is like it's very orangey inside, so I might be able to tweak those colors just a little bit. Everything looks really nice outside and things, but it's just, yeah, inside looks a bit funny. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much the design here. It works pretty well. It's, I only get hit, like, it's okay. It's It still probably could be a lot better. Um, as I said, they don't instantly die like one hit, so that's kind of unfortunate. Um, sometimes they do with my diamond sword, but I get too much rotten flesh with that. It's just crazy. I've already got like five chests full, so I'm thinking of putting a lava strip in there and uh, just using it as like a garbage disposal for the flesh. Um, but yeah, this place looks really nice with all these shaders and stuff. It just... Oh, I love it. It makes it look so much nicer. Look at the water and everything like that. It all moves. Uh, we got le moving leaves as well. It just makes the place look even more epic than what it did before. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we've done since last time. Uh, I believe, I think I've probably just tidied up some things. I took out our crop field outside here just because I wanted a bit more space to uh, move. And I've also done this path. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, it's kind of like meant to be like a dirty snow kind of trail, like because I suppose if you move the snow, this is probably what will be under it and all the dirt and sludge and stuff um, is there. Like, just look at that sunset. Oh, it's amazing. I could just sit here and stare at this all day until something spawns on me and kills me. So I'm going to go back inside and sleep. Yeah, so I took out a crop field that was just here. I'm going to be moving it somewhere else, probably extend it as well. Um, but I just kind of really wanted to do something with this area. Um, obviously, I'm going to move the llamas as well, but I was going to originally put buildings out here, but now I'm not 100% sure if it's really going to fit with this kind of area. So I was thinking maybe doing like a big custom tree just kind of in this area and kind of changing this into like a seating area and just kind of a hangout spot because I don't think it's really going to fit if I do kind of a building just here because it's going to block off the lava wheel it's going to kind of deter from like this kind of um, pillar thing and our big glass wall and stuff so I'm thinking if I do like a big tree just here um, and then maybe use this side here for the llamas or even use this bit here for another building and put everything else like out and around the back side out this way so I don't know if I want to take out this um, mountain just here to give it a bit more room but I kind of like this little walkway as well so then I think you may be clearing out some of these trees, um, changing all this to snow and obviously and kind of using this area just here is more of a outside building area and things. And then I can convert um, a lot of this back woods area. I could clear a lot of that, change a lot of it to farmland kind of thing and use that way, I guess, a bit better. So that's kind of like my plan. I do kind of like the path from up here. I think it's a little bit too straight though, so I might need to add a little bit more of a bend into it, kind of help it out a little bit more. Uh, but we do need to run to the capital really quick. I got a couple of enchants I want to have a look at trying to do, and also we need to go help out with a ravine or river, I suppose. No, really a river. I don't know. But you guys will see in a minute, so um, I'll let you guys enjoy that time lapse and I'll meet you guys there in a moment. Oh, 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 
there it is all completed uh, we just did some sand and things and this whole uh, area is going to be a giant river coming through here and I like what they've done to the place they've added a bit more um, to this back wall as well it looks really nice and uh, yeah they've sort of gone ahead and raised up this area as well we also do have some more work done over this way across the bridge um, it's all turning out really nice like it's all coming together really well I remember coming in here in my first episode and everything was just grass basically and stuff so yeah that was really cool and uh, yes yeah, this, this is pretty much it I did help out um, lay a few slabs out here the other night uh, you know just trying to help out a little bit where I can uh, these guys have awesome plans to place crab especially and uh, soul have like a really good picture in their mind what they want this place to be and it's really coming together I think um, yeah like I can't really picture these uh, grand scale builds and things like it's it's past my pay grade so i'm just coming to coming to slave away where i can um but i really want to come in here and quickly borrow this enchantment table that's down here and uh let's see if we can get any good enchantments on or anything like that so let's uh pop you just there um let's see what we can get from these i won't really worry about my boots because actually we could we can combine them i suppose um i'm not sure if that's going to work protection for right here protection for um, I'm breaking three, not fantastic, and protection four again. Okay, I'm just gonna get our chess piece here. We get protection four. I'm breaking three, not terrible. Uh, we can pop that on there. I wonder if it changes. Yeah, see, it looks kind of really weird on here. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to look into it and see if I can fix it or not. Cause yeah, it looks pretty pretty weird. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think that, that was pretty much all I wanted to do here. Yeah, I suppose we could do another one actually. Let's um, grab these again. Let's see what we got here. Protection 3 and Protection 3. Uh, look, I'm going to do it on the helmet. Just why not? That's all we got on there was Protection 3. That's pretty terrible. But anyways, my luck for enchants are not very good. Alrighty, I think I have the foundation laid out for this kind of um, llama hut kind of thing. Um, so basically we're going to have this head here is like kind of an entryway. Um, it's going to look like three separate rooms from the front, but when you come inside from this gate, they'll all be joined together. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, actually we'll see if I join them all together or I separate one, we could put our horse in one side as well. But I mean, for the meantime, this is fine. And I think we'll just uh, go together and build the core together. And then I might uh, time lapse the reps and you guys could just like watch the fine detail and all that kind of stuff come in. So, um, I think for these ones here, we'll just come up three blocks because we don't want to be too high on the edge. I kind of want to do like a nice sloped roof on the center ones and then like, I mean, joining up to the center and then these this middle column kind of being a really tall kind of building style thing, I suppose. Um, so we're going to come up like pretty high on this one here is at least six, I think. Um, let me put this back on and then I can not take full damage oh i still took full damage something i might do as well is this uh so we got this one here six high so we got three four five six or seven high actually i might need to take it down one um but we might get rid of these ones here and make this front bit out of stone so it still matches in with our base and things it's still um you know stone and wood nice aesthetic there so we'll bring these ones here up by two i'm thinking and then do an upside down stair on top there we go um, so the same thing on this one here. So bring this across on the fourth one high and add a little cross beam in just there. And then we can do the same thing on this bit just here as well and here as well. Now for this centerpiece here, we can just do a upside down stair, I'm thinking there, there and there. And then we can do a slab on top, a slab underneath and one there as well. And then come in here and do some uh, sideways stairs and something like that awesome and then we can just come in here that does not work because it's a slab okay um so yeah that's pretty let's actually break this one just here i think that will look better and then we can even trap all that just there now i think for the sides here we'll just um kind of wall off this first section here with some stone so we'll just texture it up like we normally do let's do something like this and like that Alrighty, so i think that there is the front design pretty much done um and then from the back here i think for our walls we'll just use a like we can just go with the spruce combo i'm thinking probably will be the best bet um so we're going to come in here and do it on the inside like so and then bring it all the way back just to give it a bit more of a like depth i suppose um 
So let's bring this all the way across as well, just to there. And then we can bring this one here all the way up to the front. So that there will be that. I think I'll just kind of texture it the way um, I have been kind of lately doing it. So just kind of, you know, just bring that in and, you know, add a bit of stripped in there as well. I think it'll look pretty nice with this whole kind of build and everything like that. So we can go ahead and kind of just sprinkle some of these all the way around. And I guess I will... Uh Go ahead and do that quickly. And there we have it, just the walls are done. Let's have a look at what this looks like from the outside. Yeah, I really like that. We can even add a nice pathway down here to the side if we need to as well. I think that will kind of work out pretty good. Um, something that I probably will need to do though is fill in on this back wall here and add the matching pillars to the front just so that we can have it all tying together from the back side just like so there we go awesome cool so that there is it done from the front and then for this side here we'll just kind of like arch the roofs up a little bit just kind of like probably with slabs and then just do that little gradient there and then for the roof we'll do a nice big peak and yeah that there should be pretty good so i think i might jump into that time lapse now guys i'll let you sit back enjoy um and you can watch me put in some hard work uh right here so i'll see you guys in a moment back and it is pretty much completed i'm pretty happy with it i might just need to light it up a little bit more um maybe and just add in a couple of windows i just don't have any sand to smelt actually i do but i can do that later so i just need to add those windows in up there and yeah that's pretty much it i might add a couple of like blue stained uh glass things for um kind of like icicles and things forming but i don't know we'll see how we go there um i think it turned out really cool i really like it let's uh we can go inside and have a quick look at the uh inside of it let's put that there um so i also just put in our horse in here as well just for the meantime because we don't have a place for him to live and i just got one thing full of water i need to do the other ones as well a bit of hay down here for them to you know have some food and that's kind of meshed up the floor with some gravel um, andesite and uh, coarse dirt and stuff like that as well so I think it turned out pretty cool it's kind of like they trampled over all the snow and things built up a little bit in the corner here and if you come upstairs we can go to our little like storage area uh, that's pretty much all this is used for so that's not really going to be much at all but I kind of liked it up there as a little detailing and things um, Everything else, you know, you've probably seen in the time lapse. I added nice little um, textures to the side. Tried to add some snow up here as well. Uh, it was the best I could because you can't place it on top of slabs, so I need to base new blocks up there. And I think it turned out pretty good. I might need to go up and still put some more snow up there somehow and figure that out. Um, but you guys might see the custom trees. These are just like kind of some skinny ones. They're just a uh, fence post with some. Um, leaves on there they're not too crazy at all i uh, don't know if i'm going to keep like some bushes on there or not or i might just get rid of those we'll have to see what it turns out you know if it goes any better um this tree is a lot better than this one over there but you know here's what it is and that's went ahead and just added some more flowers and life around the place and i think it's really coming together now um we got this nice open area here i want to do this big massive custom tree just kind of in here as i said before and uh yeah it's pretty much all i probably you know terraform this ground a little bit better uh make it more of a path like this and stuff and maybe add a nice little pathway around the side of the building um potentially we'll see how we go with that and uh unfortunately a zombie did spawn inside my house before i don't know where it came from it does look really dark in here but i think it's just a texture pack so um in the 
shaders sorry so i need to get a new snowman in my glass little trap up here so yeah he went and killed that which is quite unfortunate um and then i don't know where exactly he came from but he did and anyways so yeah um i know this might have been a shorter episode we got to get a lot of stuff done we did the zombie farm we uh helped out with the uh ravine i guess it is uh, back at uh, the capital and we built this nice llama shack so you know it was quite a few hours worth of work um hopefully it kind of relates to the video time and things but anyways um i guess i will uh leave it here guys and if you did enjoy it all please leave a like subscribe and notification bell all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one later <laughs>